We do a, a lot of different work with different insect pests in rice. Pretty much all things insect as far as pest management goes, we, we work on. Overall, we're probably sitting at 60 to 70% planted, which is pretty early. That's pretty, pretty good progress. And from an insect standpoint, that should help us quite a bit. We should outrun a lot of those issues. Giant apple snails are exotic aquatic freshwater snails. Uh, they were imported into the United States primarily through the pet trade uh, in the 1970s and 80s. They were first discovered in Florida. They're also regulated as a plant pest in the United States uh, through the USDA. They lay anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 eggs in an egg mass. Uh, and these egg masses are bright pink and laid just above the water surface on tree trunks or aquatic vegetation or other structures. A few weeks ago, some apple snails were found uh, in Saline County. They come up in a crawfish shipment from, from Louisiana. You know, in, in reading about them and, and talking to our counterparts down in Louisiana and several consultants down there, you know, they've been dealing with them since 2018. Uh, where they're a problem, they can be a, a fairly substantial problem. Generally though, the, the spread of them has been pretty minimal. Because of their uh, feeding habits on aquatic vegetation, they also are known to feed on rice, uh, and so they are an agricultural pest. I know that we flood a lot of fields up after harvest for ducks, and but then we usually go through a month to two to three month dry period after that. And that should be enough to kind of reset the cycle there. They, they need that water out there. While we may not keep rice flooded year round, it does sound like they can infest like surface irrigation ponds. So your reservoirs, your ponds that you're, you're watering out of. If they do infest those, they can be moved around through you know irrigation. They can be moved from field to field through irrigation that way out of those ponds. As long as we're starting with a good clean seed bed and, and not keeping it flooded year round, we, we should be okay. It, should, it shouldn't impact us too much. They uh, have been impacting the uh, Louisiana uh, crawfish industry for several years and so we do know now that crawfish uh, are a pathway, live crawfish used for human consumption are a pathway for these things to be introduced. So please inspect your uh, any bags of crawfish. Uh, and look for snails. If you see an apple snail or a snail larger than a quarter, it's likely a non-native snail here in Arkansas. Uh, report it immediately to the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. On our website, we have online reporting form, or you can call uh, the Aquatic Nuisance Species Coordinator and report it directly. I would tell folks just to keep an eye out.